storms have the power to drastically alter thousands of lives in a matter of minutes. How can the devastating power of such magnificent natural forces be compared? Do we keep track of the lives they take? Weigh their long-term effects on the towns and cities they destroy? What is the cost to your wallet? The scope and severity of genuinely gigantic typhoons cannot be fully understood by any one of these criteria alone. Rather, a comprehensive approach that considers the entire range of both tangible and intangible harms caused by their chaos is necessary. In this video, we'll look at 10 storms that top the charts in destruction and death toll. Before starting, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more future updates. So let's start. Number 10. Tri-State Tornado The Central Plains of the United States, also known as Tornado Alley, experience the greatest number of tornadoes worldwide. One of these twisters stands out among the many that leave ruin, harm, and death in their wake. On March 18, 1925, the Tri-State Tornado swept out of southeast Missouri and plowed over the southern tip of Illinois before dissipating in lower Indiana. Amazingly, the tornado covered the 352 kilometers between these three locations in just three and a half hours. The average tornado is between 500 and 2,000 feet wide and travels at 30 miles per hour. Generous estimates indicate that they cover an average distance of six miles before losing steam. The tri-state tornado reached a top speed of 73 mph and an average speed of 62 mph. It encompassed an area that was more than 36 times larger than the typical tornadoes. Its trail was described by some witnesses as being almost a mile wide. The EF-5 storm filled 695 people overall. 234 of them were residents of Murfreesboro, Illinois, setting a terrible record for the most tornado fatalities in a single American city. The tornado's path resulted in a total of 2,027 injuries and 15,000 demolished dwellings. Whole towns were destroyed. Number 9. Dalator Setria, Bangladesh Tornado On April 26, 1989, a tornado made landfall in Bangladesh's Maniganj area, one of the world's most populous nations. It ripped a swath 10 miles long and 1 mile wide as it moved from the Dalapur area towards the severely drought-stricken areas of Satcharia and Manikan Satter. The twister destroyed every building within a 2.5 square mile radius, despite its brief duration and little extent. The hurricane damaged more than 20 towns during its brief rampage, driving out citizens, homes, and cattle. The few crops that had survived the previous drought were threatened, fight as well as the hail and rain that pounded the landscape. When all of the dispersed citizens were counted, it was discovered that the tornado had killed close to 1,300 people, making it the deadliest tornado in recorded history. After that, widespread starvation and sickness ravaged central Bangladesh. In a somberly ironic turn of events, the tornado struck only a few hours after the country had been urged to pray for rain by the then-president, Hussein Mohammed Urshid. Number 8. Hurricane Katrina Hurricane Katrina's financial impact was immeasurable, and the hurricane irrevocably altered New Orleans and the Gulf Coast region even though its death toll was not a record-breaker. The hurricane that developed in the Bahamas in August 2005 and surged across southern Florida signaled trouble in the Atlantic. Katrina grew stronger once it reached open sea, reaching the maximum Saffir Simpson category possible, Category 5. It weakened into a Category 3 storm in the 18 hours prior to landfall. Over 1,800 people were murdered across many states as a result of Katrina, which also caused 62 tornadoes to erupt across the southeast. Louisiana was the state with the most fatalities. The storm surge destroyed the entire coastal villages there as well as in Mississippi. The final financial toll of Katrina is almost impossible to calculate due to the intricate interplay of lost jobs, missed revenue possibilities, and ruined enterprises, although estimates place the entire financial effect at $200 billion. Number 7. Iran Blizzard In Hamlet, King Claudius says, When sorrows arrive, they come not single spies slash but in battalions, shortly after Polonius's passing. This gloomy proverb is all too often illustrated by terrible weather occurrences that compound misery upon misery. For example, storms can cause floods, which can cause sickness and pestilence, and so on. Iran must have been in severe need of water after four years of drought and water. That is other than the week-long blizzard that arrived in February 1972. In remote regions of Iran's northwest, center, and south, the storm dumped 10, 26 feet of snow, cutting out telephone and cable connections, and trapping 4,000 peasants under its icy surface. 
Two enormous avalanches buried an estimated 8,000 people in other locations. Initial estimates of fatalities were close to 6,000. However, later revisions brought the total down to an estimated 4,000. As tragic as the blizzard was, the next catastrophe, which nearly washed a town out to sea, had a larger death toll. Number 6. The Galveston Storm The greatest natural disaster to ever occur on American soil struck Galveston, Texas, on September 8, 1900, after residents there withstood a storm of biblical proportions. The island community, which is just off the Texas coast in the Gulf of Mexico, had a population of 37,000 the day before it was hit and had promising economic prospects. The next day, the number had decreased to 31,000 and the city had received millions of dollars worth of damage. An estimated Category 4 cyclone struck the undefended, low-lying island, leaving behind massive destruction. The majority of estimates for the number of fatalities in Galveston range from 8,000 to 10,000, with some estimates going as low as 6,000 or as high as 12,000. Remains were still coming ashore in February of the following year. 3,600 structures were destroyed by the hurricane's 140 mph winds and 15-foot-high storm surge. By the time the flood started to ebb, 12 city blocks, or three-quarters of the city, had been wiped away, leaving the entire island flooded. In the interim, individuals clung to anything they could find above water in an effort to survive. Number 5. Hurricane Mitch When it comes to the toll that storms take on people's lives, property, and the difficulty of recovery, Hurricane Mitch is among the deadliest hurricanes to ever make landfall. Shortly after developing in the Caribbean, on October 26, 1998, Category 5 Hurricane Mitch plowed into the northeast coast of Honduras. Soon later, it began to lose strength and stop along the coast. There, it changed into a massive rain-producing machine. The storm, which peaked at 180 mph winds and drenched most of Central America at this time, also caused mudslides, avalanches, and flash floods that devastated Honduran coastal communities in particular. It made landfall in Florida on November 5 after intensifying once more to tropical storm strength before dissipating over the Atlantic. Floods, mudslides, and winds brought on by Mitch destroyed crops and destroyed towns across Honduras as well as parts of Nicaragua, Belize, El Salvador, Guatemala, and Mexico. It destroyed millions of homes, washed and blew away populations, and destroyed harvest. The majority of the over 11,000 fatalities occurred in Honduras and Nicaragua, while hundreds more were reported missing. Mitch left a nation in Honduras that lacked a clear roadmap to rehabilitation. Number 4. The Great Hurricane of 1780 Even Hurricane Mitch couldn't compare to the devastation caused by the Great Hurricane of 1780. Between October 10 and October 16, the Eastern Caribbean had an estimated 22,000 fatalities, the majority of them in the Lesser Antilles. Martinique, St. Eustatius, and Barbados suffered the greatest casualties. Thousands of French and British sailors are thought to have died when the violent weather crashed into their ships, in addition to these casualties. Although the Great Hurricane's exact power is unknown, anecdotal evidence leads contemporary academics to believe that it was a Category 5 storm with winds of more than 200 mph. According to some eyewitness stories, strong stone structures and forts were completely destroyed. Huge cannons were launched hundreds of feet, and trees had their bark torn off. Number 3. The Vargas Tragedy The disaster brought on by excessive rain that struck Venezuela's Vargas coast in December 1999 serves as an example of how too much rain can set off a chain reaction of destruction that is worse than the sum of its individual components. In the Sierra de Avila Mountains north of Caracas, a storm from December 14 and 16 dumped a year's worth of rain causing flooding and some of the largest landslides and debris flows in recorded history. In the ensuing destruction, at the 8,000 homes and 700 apartment structures were destroyed. It destroyed water and sewage systems, telephone and power lines, roads, and other infrastructure, costing a total of about $1.79 billion. An estimated 30,000 individuals perished, but only 1,000 bodies were ever found. Debris flows and floods buried or washed away the majority of the remaining victims. Some regions are topographically and physically worse placed than others when it comes to experiencing damage from extreme weather occurrences. Number 2. Bola Cyclone A violent cyclone devastated Bangladesh's low-lying coastal delta the year before it split from Pakistan and became an independent country. Bangladesh's terrain amplifies the effects of cyclones. 
making it more common for them to leave a massive trail of destruction in the wake of their passage. So, even though it barely reached land as a Category 3 hurricane in 1970, the storm known as the Bola Cyclone ended up ranking among the greatest natural disasters in history. Estimates of fatalities range from 300,000 to 1 million, but most estimate that number to be closer to 500,000. The Delta region of Bangladesh is one of the world's most fertile agricultural regions thanks to the numerous rivers that feed it nutrients and silt. Due to this, despite the inherent topographical risks of living there, the region is among the most densely populated in the world. There are two basic causes of the risk. First of all, a sizable chunk of the nation is barely elevated above sea level. Second, the combination of its rivers and coastline shape draws water inland far from the coast, increasing the frequency and severity of flooding. Storm surges are particularly deadly in places like Bangladesh, where they account for the majority of fatalities and a sizable share of property damage following storms like the Bola Cyclone. Number 1. Super Typhoon Nina China would merit at least its own volume in a study detailing devastating floods. The unprecedented devastation caused by Nina was not due to its winds, but rather to the massive flooding it caused. In fact, by the time the typhoon hit China, it had already expended the majority of its energy across Taiwan's central mountain range and had become a tropical storm. Nina produced 42 inches of rain in 24 hours as it stalled over the mainland, providing central China with a year's worth of precipitation in a single day. More than 60 additional dams, a 6.2-mile-wide, 9.823-foot-high tsunami that broke through the lowlands as the dams collapsed traveled at a pace of around 31 mph and destroyed a region that was 34 miles long and 9.3 miles broad. Tens of thousands of survivors were washed downstream by the floodwaters, which also inundated thousands of square kilometers of land and claimed 26,000 lives. Later, starvation and illness claimed the lives of another 145,000 people. Overall, Nina caused 11 million people to lose power and over 6 million buildings to fall, resulting in a $1.2 billion economic cost. Nina certainly stands out above prior typhoons as our most destructive storm in terms of the number of lives lost, as well as the physical and economic toll. This is it for today's video. What do you think of our video? Tell us in the comment section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more future updates. Thanks for watching.